Ivanka, you've beaten Joe Gallagher. Really important game for your team today. Yeah. Tell us all about it. <laughs> Well, uh, I've been uh, a little bit unlucky, I feel, during this tournament. You know, I've had some good positions, I've been fighting really hard, and results just haven't gone my way. So I'm just absolutely ecstatic to have uh, won my game against Joe. Um, it was quite a balanced opening, but uh, something went wrong, and uh, suddenly I was allowed to take some chances in a very advantageous endgame. And you got a monster D pawn, monster D yeah, pass pawn. Yeah, I, I did get a monster pass pawn, and even better, I controlled the promotion yeah. square with my bishop. So I was feeling really positive then, but a little voice inside of me still went, "Keep calm, take control, <laughs> don't mess it up," mm -hmm. and uh, you can celebrate after you've won the game, right. not during the game. Right. Yeah, we're all getting excited as well watching your game. Oh, really? Because the women need to fight back and make this a close match. Yeah, we do. You know, um, somehow, you know, I felt like I've been unlucky, but the team itself has also been quite unlucky as well because we've had really promising positions. But I must hand it to the guys. They have been incredibly resourceful and they've been resilient at the toughest moments and they've just kept fighting. So for us now, it's just every point will count and uh, we're going to go into the last round feeling just well, not feeling happy, but just happy that we're here and that we're playing chess. And you've got Antoinetta back in the side and she yeah. won yesterday. And yeah. She's won again today. Yeah, I know. She's a tremendous <laughs> asset. And, and at the team meeting yesterday, she said, hey, why are we planning to get four victories tomorrow? Why can't we just get lots and lots of victories? And if she, we went through our opponents and she just went, yep. No reason why you can't win. So she made us all laugh there. Yeah, and she's full of confidence as mm -hmm. well, isn't she? Yeah, she, she is. And very yeah. calm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at you again. Yeah. Okay, Yuanka. Uh, you're playing Joe here, and you've just played knight d2. This position was yes. happening. Yeah, um, it's a relatively quiet position, but, you know, white does have some positional advantages, namely this... Bishop on g2, which can spring to life and uh, just cause some problems. And uh, here, Joe took a, a long, long think, actually. Um, maybe he just couldn't decide what to do. I was just expecting queen takes pawn, to be honest. And then the yeah. game kind of continues, and maybe I'm slightly better because of this bishop. But, you know, black's pieces are yeah. very active. Yeah. Um, there's one point to kind of note that after knight d2, you can't really play c3 okay. <laughs> because the light comes to c4. So this was yeah. a line that the computer had pointed out to me this morning. So oh uh, right, so I, you, you were there. You well, have seen this position vaguely. Today. I mean, I, I yeah. must admit my preparation wasn't that deep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just mm -hmm. went okay. Well, I'll just play a game really, and uh, so yeah, knight to c4 okay. kind of retains the balance. But yeah, he 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 kind of. Spent a long time, and then he played. Yes. Uh, sorry, pawn. So, yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Pawn takes pawn. Knight um, takes. Knight takes, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Knight takes. And then knight takes pawn, and uh, he that dropped looks... the queen back. And I was quite pleased about my next move, which is like knight d4, d4? because okay, the knight is a little bit vulnerable mm -hmm. here on mm -hmm. d4, but it does control this. Oops. Sorry, yeah. I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to myself, don't just touch pieces randomly. <laughs> I just wanted to say it does yes. control this uh, yes. light squared bishop. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, there was kind of some cool ideas. I don't know whether it works or not, but I, I mean, it did come into consideration that if he'd gone rook to here, there might even mm. be possibility to go knight takes pawn. Wow. But that might be too bold but, and adventurous right. and creative or whatever, but it was there in the air. But um, I think things kind of went my, well, I got the upper hand a little bit after rook, rook b8, rook b1, b1. and bishop f5. That was a bit ambitious by black, wasn't it? Yeah, I, th I think he, he was just trying to simplify the position because yeah. there's, there's a lot of tension and uh, yeah. the queen doesn't have, uh, yeah, I the mean, queen doesn't have so many squares. Bishop, yeah, bishop d7 is a normal move. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, I think I was probably going to play queen a4 or... Queen a4? Oh, I'm... I'm 
Yeah, that was just one idea that I yeah. had. I'm not sure. Put a little bit of pressure on C6, but then he can defend it. Yeah, I, guess, so. I mean, this is really what I, I was expecting, a very simple move like that. But yeah, Bishop F5, I was very pleasantly surprised to yep. see on the board. He snapped it off. So yeah, he gave me the bishop pair. I will take the bishop pair. And, and take uh, <laughs> Yeah. And did he have, did, did he, was there another move here? Uh, another I, move? No, no, sorry, no, no. I was looking at another position. I thought that was an intermezzo, but I was no. thinking another position. And okay. uh, here I, I don't, I was very proud of this move at the time, but I'm not sure I'm so proud of it Gone now. Off it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vicious C3, so the big idea of this move was actually just to kind of release this rook on B1 and also kind of dominate the queen. <laughs> Right, yes. <laughs> that was my positional basis behind it. But yeah. um, The Queen's not going forward, that's for sure. No, she's not. And uh, yeah. And I think here, Joe kind of played E6, E6. and then I, I forced things with Queen D6. And yeah. uh, later on, that... Joe said that maybe he should have just played Knight E8. Knight but E8, yeah, because you get a, a pass one. Can't yeah, be bad. and uh, what's what's even better is that I actually, with this bishop potentially coming to the a5 mm. square, I start to control the um, queening square. Yeah. But um, yeah, and I think I was very fortunate here. So I've been quite unlucky in some of my other games where my opponents have been incredibly resourceful and I've just been blundering or making tragic mistakes. But here I was very lucky because um, uh, Joe just had a bit of an off day and he didn't defend in the best way. And uh, he just he played knight e4, which is fine actually. Um, and I took it bishop takes. Snapped it off. Yes, and after yeah, but I think pawn takes oh, is yes, a mistake. Oh yes, this is the one where I, I think I this is yeah, where he has right. to try his luck in the opposite color yeah, bishop. But I mean, it's pretty yeah. unpleasant because I just I do take this pawn on mm. c6, and then I get a passed pawn on d7, and uh, he can be forgiven, I think, a little bit for yeah. not um, wanting to go into this. And uh, yeah. But the other way was worse, well, the wasn't it? The other way was, was worse. Bishop A5. And uh, Bishop A5 controlling, controlling promotion the promotion square. square and um, yeah. And then he just can't quite wiggle his bishop around to do anything no, about it. No, he can't quite get there in time. You know, he, if you fast forward a few moves, yep. he did try with Bishop D4, but I was yeah. Bishop C7. And. Uh, I think, in fact, you could you could even could, swap off the I rooks could there, swap. Huh? I, I yeah. was thinking about swapping off the rooks, about but the same, I, think. I have to say, I was a little bit concerned that maybe he could kind of give up his bishop and go a bit rogue with his rook and just start to win pawns. Yeah. But uh, I yeah. have to fast forward. So, fast forward. I mean, let's fast forward to um, when he went bishop e7. Bishop e7. Because that was a nice so. finishing blow. So he, he oh yes. yeah, because uh, he's trying to con you here, isn't he? Yeah, he's trying to set up some kind of blockade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. uh, I must admit, I, I didn't actually even think about playing pawn takes bishop. I was more focused yes. on rook c5 and just kind of keeping the balance. And uh, I was also focusing on just keeping calm, not getting a rush of blood to the head. And uh, whilst I was thinking, I suddenly realised that I could actually take the bishop. Because I have a very, very neat move. So after pawn takes bishop, rook, rook takes. takes. Yeah, this is the whole point. I suddenly realized that uh, this pawn actually has a purpose. It right. can promote itself to a queen. And uh, Yeah, that was nice. And a uh, nice touch there because the e6 yeah, It's pawn got to be that way. And will, you take on e6. Yeah, and sadly the f5 will. pawn will drop off as will the e4 pawn. Uh, yeah, fall like and, a house of cards. Yeah, and... It's nice and simple. <sighs> yeah, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. Well played.